Hey, what's up, YouTube? Jeff here from TheRealDealTech.com, bringing you a long-awaited video. We actually haven't done a, a review in a long time. We were just kind of, you know, everybody's busy. We do this as a hobby, not as a job. And, you know, we thought, you know what, why not do it on the uh, new toy that we just got today? So basically, this is a video on the Dell Venue 8 Pro released not too long ago. Uh, this is a 64 gigabyte version. We picked it up on Amazon for 313 bucks. Uh, I want to see what all the buzz was about, but we actually want to show you an overview. We're not going to waste your time with an unboxing. We're not going to waste your time with uh, kind of showing you the features and the specs. Everybody's doing that. We're going to actually test out Dreamweaver, Photoshop, FileZilla, and a couple other awesome uh, programs here and uh, let, let you guys see firsthand what it's all about. And uh, you guys can feel more than uh, welcome to comment in the comment section below with any questions and you know requests to test certain things and we'll go ahead and try to uh, meet those requests with more videos. So let's dive right in. What you guys came here to see, uh, real quick, see this piece of tape here? This is a piece of tape. It's not the screen screwed up. That's just covering the uh, personal information of the uh, registered user on this device. But let's go ahead and dive right in. So if I click on uh, right there, if I tap on the uh, Photoshop, we're going to go ahead and load it. And you guys can see how quickly that loads. Uh, if you do see a blur, that's the uh, camera adjusting its lens. Let's go ahead and open up a uh, nice uh, size file. Let's just hit 500 by 6 something. As you can see, it opened up fairly quickly. Let's go ahead and just drop a shape on there. The reason why I'm doing this, I want you to see the functionality behind this um, and actually take a look of how awesome it is, how quickly it responds, and how there's no lag. If I hit like the eraser, you know, I'm working on a project. You know, I'm going to go ahead and hit another layer on there, or and right there, and we'll change the color on it. You know, we're using a couple different, you know, features here from Photoshop, and you can see how there's no lag behind it. So, right there, as you can see, look at that. No issue. We're going to leave that open. Why? Because I want, to see, want you to see the actual multitasking, okay? So if I go like this, right, and I hit that, and let's say I'm going to go ahead and open up like a browser, right? For example, we have MSN there, right? We go ahead and click on that. And again, I apologize if you see, you know, the blurriness a little bit. It's just the camera lens adjusting. But we're going to leave that open. Now we're going to go ahead and add a new canvas area here. We're going to add a new section. If you hit new, okay. We're going to keep it the same size. We're going to just throw a square on there. You know, we'll put some, some text. Uh, put it up here. Okay, and we'll put... Hello, this is a test. Now, we do have a Bluetooth mouse connected to this device. We also have a Bluetooth keyboard. And no issues. I mean, it's not lagging whatsoever. We have this open. We have this project open there. I'm going to go ahead and hit the start there. And I'm going to go back and open up Dreamweaver now. And we're going to keep Photoshop in the background running. Why? Because I want you to see if there's any lag. We, we both want you to see this. And by both, I mean the camera guy and myself. If I hit HTML there to just open a new project, you know, let's say you're building a website and you're like, can I use this device to build websites on the go? You certainly can. Look at that. No issues whatsoever. And again, that's not actual code. I'm just typing in BS to kind of show you there's no lag. I'm going to leave that open. Now I'm going to open a, a client that a lot of people actually use, FileZilla. Look at that. Super duper fast. No problem, you can you know set up anything you want to put on there, your site, your FTP server. Again, check that out. I can open up you know another app, uh, you know, if you want to browse around Facebook, music, if we hit music, go back, eh, have that right there if I want to close that. I'm closing it from down there because obviously I can't see the X up there because of the piece of tape. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. It's gonna ask me if I want to save, no. Photoshop, close it. I'm not going to save any of these projects. And again, I apologize for the blurriness. It is the camera just adjusting its lens. We go ahead and like, uh, let's open up the web browser again. If you want 15 instant slimmers, there you go. <laughs> go ahead and minimize that. And we'll go ahead and like, uh, let's see here. Let's uh, open up the desktop version of Internet Explorer. Okay, now let's go ahead and open up again Photoshop. Can you use this on the go? I don't have the stylus yet. We did order it. It hasn't come in yet, so we'll wait for the next video on that. But uh, go ahead and check it out. I mean, look at this. We're working on Photoshop here on a $299 device. Ours was uh, actually $313. We got a sale, a killer deal on it. 
Look at that, it's not slowing down. I mean, for the amount of money that most people are spending on these higher end things, you know, this is a nice addition to that. And you're not gonna kill yourself over the price and you're gonna have a really nice uh, device that's gonna do what you need it to do on the go. I mean, I wouldn't call it a replacement for your entire desktop or laptop, but it is a nice addition to actually get work done. Stuff that you can't normally do on an iPad. Stuff that you would typically do on a Surface Pro, but you're gonna spend a lot of money. Dell actually solves that problem for you. Alright guys, well let me know what you think on um, the comment section below. If you have any questions, go ahead and just blast them on there. Please like the video. Um, please subscribe. And you know what? We are going to be releasing more videos. And like I said, we've just been busy. I apologize for that. And we definitely want to keep you in the loop of all the cool devices that are coming out. And don't forget to check out our site. We will be updating that very soon. TheRealDealTech.com We'll see you soon guys. Thanks.